Hey guys, so I thought I'd take a quick video on this one. I don't have very much time, but I'll kind of go over it a little bit. Um, this is the Gigapets Pixie, and it's up for pre-order right now on the Gigapet website. I'll link it in the description if you're interested. And um, it's really cute, and I'm excited to talk about it. Um, so these are the wings. They're really flexible and rubbery. Um, you could also, I know a lot of people don't like them. You can open it up and take them out if you want. But uh, Top Secret Toys is not liable if you break your Pixie. Um, but it should be easy enough. Just take those three screws out, keep the battery um, back out, and uh, pop them right out. And then here is the battery compartment here. Um, it actually has a tab that goes over the battery to keep it in place. I've had this for a few months now, and it has never reset on me. Um, so they did a really good job on this one, and I'm really um, excited about it. I think you guys will like it. So yeah, here is the shell as well. This is the pink one with purple wings. The icons are really small, but that's because they made room for the screen to be bigger. Because some animations take up this whole screen. There's more pixels here. Um, as you can see, she looks really um, detailed for being a little sprite pixie. <laughs> so yeah, I'll show you these instructions real quick. So here's some basic instructions here. Naming, clock, batteries, stuff like that. And then on the right side, there's the different icons like feed, sleep, doctor, cleaning, play, all the games, of course. And then the fun stuff, the magic, the spells, potions, inventory, where you keep all of your items and potions, and then um, your health icons, and um, if your, um, if like two of your uh, stats fall below 60, then you get thorn here, but once you raise it again, then um, it will be your normal pixie, sort of like when your stats are high on the unicorn, you get the pegasus. And then here is the evolution tree. I should have brought my packaging out to show you guys, uh, so you guys can see these characters, but you can see them on Top Secret Toys um, Instagram. Um, if you want to see the full color version of them, they're on the packaging and on the promotional pictures and stuff as well. But for the instructions, they're blacked out. Um, but yeah, and then there is the alert icon. Game over, your pixie can die. Um, and reset. I'll show you guys on the actual pixie itself a few of these icons, or at least I'll try to show you all of them. So the first one, of course, is the food. The food is the strawberry, the snack is the honey. Then the sleeping, which is really cute. She flies into the woods and sleeps under a flower. If you want it to take a nap, usually I think it would be like at least 15 minutes, but yeah. And then here is the games. So this one's like a waterfall that follows you. Not a waterfall, but um, like an ocean wave that follows you. And you have to run away from it and go around all these obstacles. This one's pretty easy. Um, it's always randomly generated from what I believe. Usually um, you have to go down as well as go up. Like that right there. Um, there we go. And then you beat the water and you reach the end. And the next one here is fishing. Oops, <laughs> way too early. She's like, um, I'll show you guys that again. But as you can see, the troll is right there. He's in two different, um, parts of this Giga Pixie, pretty much. Um, as a little cameo, since he's also a mythical creature. Um, you feed him these fish, and you'll see he's also the doctor. So he got his medical degree and everything, you guys pretty cool. 
and yeah every time you um beat a game you get the um the luck um item which is the clover right there and luck is pretty important uh on the pixie i'll show you guys when we get into potion making and stuff This one is probably my favorite. Um, you just go down to the rings and go through them. It's really simple, which I like, but also it reminds me of um, Spyro, if you know. Honestly, when I'm playing Spyro, those are my least favorite things, but this reminds me of Spyro, and I love it, so. Which is why I named my pixie Zoe. <laughs> So since there's a poop here, I'll go ahead and clean that up and show you guys the waterfall as well. And uh, we also got Thorn, so let's check his stats. Okay, that did it. I was going to say, let's see what's below 60 and try to help that. I see the food is at 55, so let's go ahead and feed her. And then we'll go on to the last game. Oops, that's not the game. But here's the um, doctor, that's Dr. Troll. And the last one is the maze. So you go left and right to go left and right, and enter to go up. I always just go up and go to the closest entrance to reach the end. Seems to be always the same, but they do get longer. As you evolve, all the games get longer, um, a little bit harder because of that. Um, so, yeah, every evolution, um, will make the games extend. So, um, the first evolution series is these three here. And you evolve after three days, um, but in order for each of those days to count, you need to take, like, a potion a day and have it at least 80%. Um for your stats for the day, for the day to count, pretty much. And um, different potions will lead you in different evolution tracks. Um, these potions here. And then after your this, um, one of those characters, it'll take four more additional days to get the final evolution. So it's um, a total of seven minimum days, as long as you're playing it and make each day count. It took a lot longer than seven days for me, though, to get that final evolution. <laughs> I was trying to, um, I didn't fully understand what I was doing when I first ran it. But it's fun to figure out what you're doing. So it'll show here, um, I'm on one out of three. That's, um, one out of three days, so I just started this one today. I just reset it. And then I already showed you guys the waterfall here. That's how she takes a bath, but I'll show you guys again. Really cute. And then here are the stats. Um, the score is 90. Food is at 70. Happiness, 100. Health, 100. The luck is at 90. Overall score is at 90. And the and the age is uh, one years. Or one year. And I don't know if they're going to update it with the ones coming out, but it should be an endless loop instead of exiting out. Um, I believe they're working on doing that. I'm not sure if they are. Um, and then here are the spells. So this is the sun spell. Um, and this is the rain spell. And the eclipse spell. You get different items from these. So for the sun you get the seed. The rain you get dew. And the eclipse you get a firefly. It shows you right there. And I love the animations for these. So... For this one, you have to get the suns together at the same time. So there we go. The sun is out and we got a seed. Oh, for the next one, um, which is the rain, that you have to do it one at a time. So there's that. And you got dew. That one's probably the easiest one. And then there is the Eclipse, which is my favorite animation for sure. Hopefully I can get this. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, and then the other one goes the opposite way. Um, oh man. I'm gonna 
try to get this so I can show you guys because it's really cool. <laughs> I don't know why I pressed it. One more time. If I don't get it, then you guys will have to see in another video. Or if you get it yourselves. Oh man. But anyway, it shows the sun and the moon sort of doing the eclipse, and then um, it gets all dark, and then there's a firefly. Alright, so I won't spoil all of the potion making for you guys because it's fun to figure it out on your own. Um, but I'll show you guys the most important one, um, which is the luck potion. Um, and there's sort of a tip for that that I'll share with you guys. Um, so, to make the luck potion, it's rain and, or not rain, but the uh, dew and the clover. So to switch them, you just go like that to scroll through. And most combinations will just make nothing. It'll explode in your face. And um, it's fun to just make a note of what doesn't work and make notes of what you discovered. And um, you'll end up making all these different kinds of potions. Which again, by taking these potions, will change your evolution track. So it's fun to mess around with that, take different potions, and see where you're on track um, to go. So yeah, this is how you make the luck potion. It's with a dew and the clover. And there it is. So, I'll show you guys where I'm at right now. First, before I take the potion. Um, for luck, I'm at 40. If you hit zero, you can't do any potion making for the rest of the day. You have to wait till the next day. And each time uh, making a potion takes 20. So you can't let that get lower than 20. Otherwise, you're out for the day. And you might as well just um, not play it. Which is sort of one of the drawbacks of this one. But as long as you make sure that, you're, um, that your luck is um, above 20 then you're all good to go. So every time you take a potion, it'll raise it 40. So um, the only thing is you have to kind of, because the luck potion does bring you in a certain evolution track, you have to make sure you're taking other potions as well if you want um, to not get on that evolution track. Um, but this will help you um, being able to make potions all day. So once I take that, it raises my luck and I can make more potions, drink more potions and change what evolution she's going for. So yeah, you have three days to get that first evolution track down and just to kind of like test and see what different potions go for what character. Um, it's fun to do that for sure. Um, but yeah, that is about it. After the three days, you get that second row, and after four days after that, you get the last evolution, as long as you're playing it and um, keeping it happy and all that. That is one um, thing. If your luck does go low, um, you still have to keep it happy anyways to make that day count. Um, so there's that. Um, but yeah, that's about it on this one. I really like it. Um, I love the background and stuff. Um, of course the potion making is really cool. It reminds me of the Magical Witches, of course. Um, and yeah, all of the, um, different characters have different animations. So you see how she's, like, walking around doing these things. Um, all the different characters have different special animations, so it's fun to get the different characters and see what they do. Um, but yeah, that's about it for that one, I believe. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Um, but yeah, overall it's just fun to play it and mess around and see what potions you get, what character you're going for, stuff like that. Um, a lot more involved than the other Gigas for sure, and I'm excited for um, future Giga Pets with this type of idea. Um, and I wanted to thank Top Secret Toys again for sending me one. I love it. I'm excited for everyone else to love it. Um, that's about it. Thanks.